this is a soldering iron, which is very hot, and you're going to use this to melt um, melt solder, a metal called solder, to um, connect wires together and make permanent connections, and also to put wires on switches and to make permanent circuits. Now, first thing you got to always make sure is when you're soldering, you first have your safety glasses on because you never know if the hot solder, the melted metal, could uh, spark into your eye a little if there was an air bubble in it. You'll notice the soldering area is in my hot area, which is marked off in yellow, so I know it's very hot. And whenever you see a soldering iron, even if you don't see it plugged in, always assume it's hot. You never touch the metal or touch the metal end. You always have to hold it by the middle of the handle up here because it's very hot, and this whole metal gets to be like 500 degrees Fahrenheit or something to that effect. Um, and always keep the, air, the soldering iron in the hot area. Okay, if I was going to solder these wires together, the first thing you do is you twist them together to make your little connection joint. And then also make sure you're soldering on something that you won't burn, like a kitchen table. Make sure it's like cardboard, heavy cardboard, or a piece of scrap wood. And this is how you solder. First thing you do is take your iron and you want to hold, and you have to have the iron plugged in for about five minutes to heat up. And you want to hold it right on the joint, the so joint to be soldered, and hold it there until it gets hot and heated up. And it might take a few seconds while the whole wire, the wires are getting very hot. And then you poke the solder on here, and it will melt. And this is a new soldering iron, so I wonder if it's going to work too quickly. And it melts onto the wires. And you don't need to do too much. You don't need to get it all balled up. You just do a little bit, coat the wires, and then blow on it and it will cool. And that will make a nice permanent heavy duty joint. Now this solder happens to be lead, the kind that has lead and tin. So you always want to make sure that you do this in a well ventilated room with windows open or um, you know like some kind of exhaust fan or you can use um, solder with silver in it and the silver is more safer for you. But this is okay as long as you're just doing a little soldering and you have it in, using it in well ventilated area and make sure you wash your hands after you're done with this and before you eat or do anything else. All right, here